If you guys would like to go ahead and purchase a cheap and instant GTA 5 modded account for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, then make sure you guys do check the link in the description of this video. Yo YouTube, it's your boy Walsh HD here. I'm back with another insane GTA 5 solo duplication glitch after the patch of 1.37. So today's duplication glitch guys is actually for more of poor people on GTA or new people to GTA. And seeing as though there's just been a low rider duplication glitch, uh, not many people are going to have to do this. Uh, however, this is actually good for the people who have not yet bought an office garage, a clubhouse, because that is where all the duplication glitch is actually take place place sorry so if you actually want to do them glitches i suggest starting off with this glitch so even if you don't actually even if you do have a lot of money on this game still a dope glitch to do seeing as though there's no other active working money glitches out there so this is just a good way of making money in between the weeks uh, until probably tuto finds another glitch <laughs> we all know tuto is going to find a new glitch guys but anyway guys you need to be in a session with 27 people or more. I know it says 22 right here. However, the reason what the reason why it says 22 is because people have left. However, when I actually joined this session, it was 27 people. So as long as when you join the session is 27 people, it's all good to go. Also, I'd make sure that you're on passive mode, just because people could mess you over on this. And then just make sure no one's around the area here, just because if someone goes into Los Santos Customs, then it can go wrong, but it's unlikely. Anyway guys, the first thing that you want to do is just find a streetcar that has a lot of value. So I'm going to be putting a list of the streetcars uh, that go for the most amount of money in the description. And the first thing you want to do guys is just take the door off and just go up to any of your garages. I recommend buying this one right here. And then just parking right next to this blue ring here and then just getting out of the car. And wait for about 5 seconds and if your character does not actually go into the garage without you moving then just do it again so just move the car a bit and as you can see my foot actually stepped into the blue ring there so I am actually going to get sucked into the garage as you can see there and then once you're actually in the garage guys all you need to do from here is just walk straight back out as you can see I've got two duplicates from when I did it earlier and I've got the elegies there just so I can replace over them or just if I need them for future uh, duplication glitches basically so guys what you need to do now is you need to check if the door has been fixed back on and as you can see my door has actually been fixed back on right here so what I'm going to do now is just go up to Los Santos Customs and whilst you're driving to Los Santos Customs guys just wreck the car a tiny bit uh, just do it a tiny bit just so when you're driving it says, re uh, it says repair so that's all you need to do and then just drive into Los Santos Customs and then once you've done that guys you don't want to uh, repair it or anything like that you just want to back straight out so I've got the Uber Max Z on so this actually goes for quite a lot I think around the 190,000 and this does not bypass the 45 minute wait unfortunately however if you store a hell load of them in a garage and they're going for 190,000 if you store 10 that's 1.9 million uh, in about a few hours I'd say guys but anyway what that actually does is that make when you go inside the customs and back straight out it makes it so the door opens like when you're further away than you should be so normally the door would open when i'm about here however the door now is opening when i'm here so all you need to do now guys is just ring up sing singing simeon and then just request a job so i'm just parking my vehicle up to where basically the garage door shuts however if i move my car a single bit more then the garage door will actually open. So I think I've already got a Simeon, no I don't. So I'm just going to ring Simeon now. It could be Gerald as well guys. And then I'm pretty sure they're the only ones. If you don't actually unlock the mission yet, all you need to do is just do a mission from Simeon in the start menu and then he will actually become a contact, I'm pretty sure anyway. So you just need to wait for him to send you the message for the job. And then all you need to do from here guys, is just hover over, are you sure you want to join? And then all you need to do from here is just press the gas or so drive forward and press A at the same time when you drive forward. And if all goes well, the garage door should be opening as you accept the job. And then you just need to back straight out of it once you get into the job. 
So right now guys, we haven't actually upgraded the car yet. We're just testing the glitch right now guys. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to drive in. And then we're going to see if it actually duplicates. And then we're going to see if it despawns or not. If it does despawn, you're going to have to have a friend to sit in the car whilst you're putting the tracker or selling the actual car. So you just repair the vehicle guys once you've gone in here. And then you just go to respray. Then you just go to classic because it's the cheapest. And just select any colour that is very different to the colour that you had previously. So now you're going to drive out of here guys. Make sure you have this animation when you're driving out. Go slowly to the left and as you can see there is a duplicate right there. However this isn't it guys. What you need to do now to make sure it does not despawn is all you need to do just reverse into this car so the door comes off. And the car I'm in right now is the original car. So this is the dummy car. We will not be selling this car. We will be using this car to duplicate others. So that's what this car is used for. And then once you've wrecked it a bit, you just park it up there. And then let's pretend this is a modified car. Because like I said, we are testing it now just to make sure it's a working session. Because if it is not a working session, you spend all that money on the car, you're going to be losing about 200000 there. So you do need about 200000 to start this glitch off. However, that is not a lot. You'll make that in no time. And just when you're driving in to sell it, if it was upgraded, just make sure you've always got your eye on the original car. And then let's pretend we're going to be putting a tracker on it. So go down to loss, theft, prevention. Let's just pretend we're about two seconds back out. And if the car is still there, it means it is a working session, guys. So you just need to hold. So you just need to quickly turn around to the car. And as you can see, it is still there. So now guys, now that we know it is a working session, all we're going to do from here, you just get out of that car, we don't need that car anymore for the whole thing, and we're going to be upgrading this car now. So I'm just going to upgrade it really quickly, uh, probably make it go for as much as I can, and like I said guys, it does not bypass the 45 minute wait, so you can only sell the cars every 45 minutes. However, if you actually literally did it every 45 minutes, sell, sold the car, you would be making millions a day, I can guarantee that. So, once you're in a working session as well, as long as you don't actually lag out, then you will be in a working session for the full day, guys. So, if you want to do this for a whole day, go ahead, guys, because it will actually work. So, I'm just going to put everything full. So, lights, everything. Always go for the bottom choice, because that tends to be the most expensive. So, uh, plate, that, it doesn't really matter about plate or anything. Uh apparently i'm not gonna i'm not actually gonna do um like expensive colors because apparently colors don't actually like go for anything when you sell them so i don't know why but you just you need to concentrate on putting the transmissions turbos brakes engines wheels as well guys they go for a lot make sure you choose chrome wheels if you've got enough money guys if you don't have enough money then just do the glitch to build yourself up to be able to afford all these upgrades so just bulletproof tires, tires smoke, go all the way down to windows. Don't know why I've got windows on this. But anyway guys, we're actually out of Los Santos Customs now. And I've been recording that, this for 8 minutes already guys. But anyway, we're actually going to be testing it out now. So not even testing it out, we're just going to be duplicating the cars. So just make sure that you're parked up to where if you moved forward anymore, the door will actually open. Then go to the Simeon job and then drive forward and accept the job at the same time. So I'm just going to duplicate these cars like twice or something and then you can just keep watching the video over and over. So like I said, once you get into the job guys, just back out, quickly turn around, make sure you get into the car quick because if you don't get into the customs quick enough, the car will brick on you and it will actually, you won't be allowed back in but a duplicate will actually spawn behind you so you will not be losing anything right there guys, so don't worry about that. The only way you can lose it is if the car despawns, but we've already tested that out and it does, and it did not despawn, guys. So like I said, just put a completely different colour to what it was before, so you know which one's the uh, dummy car and which one's the duplicate. So this one that I'm in right now is the dummy car, and this one right here is actually the duplicate. So we're going to be selling that black one right there, so you're just getting it, and then we're taking the door off it, you know, destroying it a bit, back into this, you know, go forward, back into it again and then we're going to be getting out of it then we're going to be getting into this one guys and then we're going to be selling this one and then like i said it doesn't bypass the 45 minute wait so for the rest of the cars we're just going to have to put a tracker on it but that's okay that does not matter really so just let the door open make sure you've always got your eye on the original car 
for as long as possible and then you just need to just literally just sell this car right now guys so as you can see 155 3000 i thought it was going to go for more than that however it is okay because there is cars that do go for about 200,000 and as you can see this car the original car is still there and it's ready to sell or not sell duplicate sorry <laughs> but anyway guys we've got 182,000 in the bank side about 20,000 spare and then we're just going to be doing it one more time and then we're done so I don't know what that guy's doing up there I don't know if he's going to come into customs or not it's pretty worrying but if he does I'm just going to end it there but I don't think he's anywhere so we're just going to go to Simeon now and then we're just going to drive forward and let the garage door open. And sometimes guys it can glitch out like that. I do not think it is going to work this time but you never know because the garage door opened and then closed again. So I don't think it's going to work this time however we'll still check it out uh, just see if it will or not. Let the garage door open and then if it does work then it's a good thing but even if it doesn't guys all I recommend doing is just driving into customs don't repair it or anything just back straight out that's what i recommend doing just to reset it kind of so we're just gonna go over to classic just because it's the cheapest and then we're just gonna be backing out and if the duplicate is there we're good to go guys it does not matter if that bit went wrong as long as it duplicates so as you can see it did not duplicate guys so what i recommend doing now is going back inside los santos customs and then just backing straight back out of it so that is what I recommend doing for that. Uh, it kind of resets it like I've already said. So just back out of it and then we're going to be doing the same steps. You don't need to do the blue ring thing again out of the garage like we did at the site. You only need to do that when you're first starting off the glitch. So as you can see, the garage door should open. Yeah, so it's opening a lot further away than it was before. So we're just going to go back down to Simeon drive forward accept the job and as you can see the garage door was opening so the chances are 95 percent sure it will work this time so backing out of the job guys and then all we're doing is running be as fast as you can here and then just driving straight into customs and like i said if you're too slow the car will brick on you but another duplicate will spawn behind you guaranteed so i was going to back out then but that is a bad idea so respray so go to classic i'm just going to change it to a white so this one that we're in right now is the original guys and if you didn't know if you can hear these buttons clicking i am doing a live commentary just because i think live commentaries are easier for duplication glitches i feel like i can explain them better and stuff like that so the car we're in now is a original car so it's the dummy car that will not be able to sell you literally cannot sell this car it does not even give a sell option or a store in a garage option or anything like that guys but anyway you're just going to wreck it a bit take the door off then just go over to this car we're going to be putting a tracker on it and then once we put a tracker on it guys that is now our car so this is the last one that i'm going to do and then i'm just going to end it there so make sure that you always got your eye on the original car so then just drive inside to customs and then be kind of quick for this as well guys because you don't want that car to despawn on you otherwise you have just lost that money right there so just put the tracker on quickly back out then when you're driving out just hold the right analog stick left so you quickly spin around like that and it is still there guys and then you can just keep doing it over and over again as you can see we got the personal vehicle sign right there for that car and then the actual original is still there so i'm just going to keep duplicating these cars now guys but i'm just going to end the video here just because it'll take ages to upload if it's like 15 minutes long but anyway guys make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and if you found it helpful and without no further ado i will see you all in my next video peace